Hi guys, Caitlin here. I am making a rose infused essential oil soap. Not rose essential oil, but um, rose infused wheat germ oil. Um, and then I'm going to be using Elemi essential oil and Lang Lang essential oil along with kaolin clay, some rose buds and petals, and um, homemade oat milk. So first thing is I'm going to take my, this is my soft oils here of olive oil and wheat germ oil and in there um, the wheat germ oil was infused with rose petals and then I also put about a teaspoon of rose petals into the, um, the soap to add some speckle um, effects. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop that in here. I've already made this soap, but I messed up, so this is round two. Round two. Alright. Now I'm going to stick blend this to grind up all of those rose petals and to just incorporate all of that into there. And it all it does is it just finely grinds up all of the um the rose petals. And those rose petals are the ones that were in my wheat germ oil. So they were nice and um, softened up. So they've been soaking for a few days. I um, did the method where you heat the oil with the stuff in it and then I actually let it sit for a few days on my windowsill in the sun after I initially heat them all up. So I have my oils in here incorporated with my rose buds and petals. And I'm going to add here is my kaolin clay, which is said to anchor essential oils. And um, this has 0.4 ounces of the Elemi essential oil, which is a stress reliever and it helps with aches and pains. And um, Lang Lang essential oil, which also does some good things. It's a very perfumey smelling um, combination. Um, it's because of the, the Lang Lang in there. But I'm going to go ahead and put that in now. And I'm going to get in your way for a second so that I can scoop all of these good essential oils out because they're not cheap. So don't mind looking at my arm for a second. So there's my essential oils. And I keep a little rag. This is an old burp cloth. I keep this um, right next to me to wipe my hands and to wipe the table and all that. So I have that combined now. So I'm going to go ahead and stir that in. Which turns it this beautiful creamy color with that kaolin clay in there. Okay. <clears throat> That's going to be a beautiful bar of soap. And now let me show you. This was where my um, rose petals were infused with my wheat germ oil. I'm going to go ahead and hang on to these rose petals because I could use these for other things, for additives in my soap. So I just wanted to show you that. So here's that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add my lye solution now. And I'm going to strain it. You're going to see in this little thing, rose petals and stuff. It's okay. Um, I used it to strain the oil out of my or I use it to strain the petals out of my oil. But here's my warm lye solution. Now I'm not worried about the temperatures of which I'm soaping because I'm just going to be pouring it into the mold pretty quick. 
there's that. And I'm going to go ahead, stick blend that to light trace. I really like the way the speckles look in the soap. I asked people, I said, you know, what would you prefer in the soap? Um, would you like a line of botanical soaps with essential oils and unscented soaps? And they were like, yep, so that's what I'm doing. So in here is my homemade oat milk and my little cute little thingy-mabobber. You know, I'm real good with descriptive words. And I'm going to go ahead and add my oat milk now. And this is accelerating quite quickly, I can tell. So let me just mix that in. I'm doing it by hand. And that really creams it up beautiful speckly color here all right now I'm gonna go ahead and pour it into my mold this is a nurture soap mold but I lined it with freezer paper um, because the other liner that comes with it makes my bars too skinny so <sighs> Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and pour it into the one side. And I'm going to tilt it to this side. Whoops, making messes. All right, now I'm gonna get in your way again, probably, so that I could scrape out my bowl and get the rest of this remaining soap into the mold. And this soap is just about done. Now that I have all of my additives in here, I'm going to go ahead and bang this down on the floor. Okay. So there it is. Let me wipe it down. I'm going to go ahead and texturize the top. I think what I'm going to do with this one is I'm... Hmm, I'll just use a spoon. And let me get paper towel and just kind of, actually this works. My little stick. All right, nice and speckly. I'm loving it. All right, so I'm just going to do a really just zhuzhing up the top here. This is quite solid already, which is normal in um, an, an essential oil soap with florals. And I'm going to get my rose petals in buds now. And I'm going to go ahead and add them to the one side of the soap. And I like to add my rose petals and buds to the side and all my additives usually to the side because when I go to cut, there's less chance of it dragging, even putting it on its side to cut it. There's less chance of getting it to drag through that top, which is great. It's excellent. And I'm just going to have to jab these down in here because it's pretty solid at this point. So, I just kind of pushed them down into the mold. And that's it, guys. That's it for this soap. 
it'll probably be re ready to unmold here in a few, um, probably a couple hours. So let me go ahead and get you guys a close up of this and then I will bring you back for the cut. So this is it. I'm loving it. Probably more than the original one I made that I really screwed up. But that's it. Has the oat milk in it, the essential oils, the infused oils. So this is a nice bar of soap here. All right. I'll see you back for the cutting.